everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna learn all about addition I've got a few different strategies for us today so let's dig in all right so the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at an example problem and we're gonna try solving it first with base 10 blocks so let's get those ready and see if we can add them up all right, so let's check out this number. Now we're using these base 10 blocks a little bit differently than you have in the past. So in the past, that flat would be 100, the long would be 10, and the unit would be one. But we're gonna switch these around to help us understand our decimal numbers too. So now in this case, that flat is, we're gonna call it the one whole, okay? Then we're going to look at those longs. How many of those longs does it take to make up the one whole? Okay, great, 10. So we're going to call those our tenths place. And then what about the unit? How many of those would it take to fill up the whole? Okay, great, 100. So we're going to call those the hundredths place. So you can kind of think of it as money. So the, the flat is one whole dollar, the longs are like our dimes, and the units are like our pennies. So that will really help us out while we're adding. Now let's add those all up together. Okay, we always wanna start with the smallest place value. So we'll start with those hundredths or the little units. And how many of those do you have? Okay, great, eight. So we didn't have to do any regrouping. If you got 10, we'd have to really, or more, we'd have to really think about what we're gonna do to regroup. Now, what do you get for the dimes or the longs? How many of those do we have? Okay, awesome, seven. And then how many whole dollars do we end up with? Okay, great, three. So $3.78. And those base 10 blocks really helped us to understand what we were doing. All right, now let's try an example where we have a little bit of regrouping to do like I've been telling you about. So. Let's start in with the smallest place value. In this case, it's the hundredths or those pennies. Let's count those up using the base 10 blocks or just by adding and see what we get. All right. So hopefully you got an eight there. We don't need to regroup it because if we get a one digit answer, it can fit in that place value. So let's move on, see what happens in the tenths place. Okay, so we've got eight plus three. You can count up those blocks or just add up those numbers. All right, 11. So that's where it's a little tricky. Can 11 fit in the tenths place? You got it, it cannot. So this is where we have to either, what I like to call make a trade, um, or you can call it regrouping. But what you're gonna do is we're gonna look at all of those 11 longs. And we're gonna think about how many of them would it take to regroup for a flat? How many of them would we have to trade in to get a flat or one hole? Okay, awesome, you need 10 of them. So we've gotta take 10 of those longs trade it in for a flat. And then with the base 10 blocks, it's so easy to see how many longs do we have left. Yeah, awesome, just one. So that means the one is gonna go in my tenths place answer. And then I'm gonna put the extra one flat over here in the ones place or the holes, because that's really where it belongs. Okay, then I can just add up all of my flats. 
I've got that one extra one. I've got three and two. How much do I have total? All right, awesome, six. So I've got, if we're thinking about money here, I've got $6.18. Great job on the regrouping. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed watching my two different strategies side by side. So counting base 10 blocks, or what I call the just the traditional algorithm, or just the standard way. And hopefully you saw those side by side and it helped you to understand. So now I'm gonna give you another example and I want you to choose your strategy. I'll put the base 10 blocks up and the traditional way, the algorithm, and I want you to decide what you wanna do. You can either count the blocks or add the numbers and we'll get back together and check your work. You might wanna pause the video now and I'll go over it in a second. All right, here you go. What do you think? Did you regroup the correct way? Did you start with the smallest place value? Okay, if you did both of those things, then you're on the right track. If you had a little trouble with it, you might want to rewind and watch another one of my examples another time just to try to get some practice and pick it up. All right, great job today. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope this helps you in your math class or at home. Bye.